In this video, I'm going to share with you eight habits that only takes a couple of minutes to get it done, but it can set you for a more productive day by saving you some time. coming home from the store very excited because I find something that I've been looking for for over 20 years I used to eat these cookies when my mom used to make that probably 25 years ago when I had those cookies the last time and it's also Joat's favorite cookie as well it takes a little bit of a time and I'm just trying to figuring out a gluten-free version of it I can remember just a little bit how it tasted it so I'm going to give a shot <laughs> to try to recreate that Well, these cookies are baking. I'm going to fold a little bit. And by the way, the, this cookie's name is Little Basket. <laughs> That's how it cuts, probably because of the shape. And I have to fill it up with some goodies inside. But until it um, bakes, I'm going to fold a little bit. And I've been folding a little bit more because we had to switch around things. So my older son grew so much. The system that we had for storing his clothing, it didn't work anymore. So I had to bring in a bigger dresser for him. That means more folding of his clothing that used to be on the hangers so we can save some space with that. When I fold the shirts, I like to keep the pattern on the outside of the folding. So that way, whoever shirt is that will see what is the pattern on the front. And they can choose easier what to wear. Each of our family member has a different type of socks, but whatever it, that person has, it's all the same, so I don't have to really pair them. Do you guys remember that awesome tape that ruined our wall and <laughs> took off all the texture? <laughs> okay, I'm going to use that today. I learned to use that. It actually works really nice on the cabinets and on the side of the plenty, so I can add some additional storage there. I also bought this cute wreath that totally brings in the spring mood and I'm going to use this on my pantry door. I bought this alcohol a few years ago to use it for cleaning but <laughs> it's just being pushed around here and there so I'm going to use it up today and I'm just going to make some vanilla extract I'm going to put there the vanilla beans and store it in the dark for a couple of months So this suite has endless possibilities. I can put many things in there, but today I'm going to put some apricot jam in there. And on the top, I'm going to use some egg whites. And as you can see, it turned out great. So I'm going to measure that out.
quick tidy up in the drawer if I see something that it's out of its place. And since I wasted so much of my time to create that cookie, <laughs> I'm going to make a very simple recipe. That's the most simple dinner that you can imagine. It's only chicken breast, a little bit of a salt and salsa, and I'm just going to cook it for 45 minutes. And now let's get into those habits that I like to do at night. These tasks are going to only take a couple of minutes but it will be a tremendous help in the morning. It all depends how my day goes but if I'm able to stay on top of the things I like to prepare some snack for the next day and it is super helpful that I have something to reach for the zucchini cooks super fast and it basically I just have to put it into the mixer and it's done It hardens up in 10 minutes, but I'm just going to use this the next morning. Also like to prepare some eggs. Sometimes I just cook some potatoes. So it really depends on the given day. But today I choose to boil some eggs and I have this zucchini cheese. When I have to prepare lunch or dinner, that's usually the busiest time of the day and the most time consuming part is peeling the vegetables and chopping up everything with this vacuum storage i prepare veggies once a week but i cut up the meat the night before good system under the sink is the key to a cleaner countertop making this area fresh for the next day I can save precious minutes in the morning by filling up all the water bottles and the kettle even further putting it into the lunch bag will be even more helpful and it's one last thing to think about in the morning 
putting the detergent and the dirty clothes into the washing machine at night and I only have to push the button in the morning. Getting ready the vacuum cleaner will encourage me to actually use it during the day. My phone can get me through the day, but charging it at night helps me to remember to plug it in. It gives me a time frame how much time I should spend on it. If it dies quicker, I know I spent way too much time on it. Half cup of vinegar at night in the toilet will help to keep the germs at bay, so it will look more decent a little bit longer. Putting a little thought into what is the three top priority tasks on the next day will help me to not to get distracted and getting done the most important thing from my list. so much for watching until the end and if you enjoy this content don't forget to subscribe like and share and i will see you guys soon in the next one bye